What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we're talking about CJ McCollum and the possibility of him joining the Los Angeles Lakers in the offseason. So if you guys haven't already, just subscribe, leave, uh, leave a like and turn notification bells all and you will get shouted out in the next video in front of over 4,000 or nearly 4,000 people, maybe 4,000 by the time you're watching this, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's get into this video. So today we're talking about CJ McCollum, like I said, um, obviously it's time for the Blazers to make a change because they seem like they've reached their peak, which was that conference finals run in what was that 2019? I believe it was 2019 where they made it to the conference finals against the Warriors. Uh, and that just seemed like that was their total peak. They couldn't make it any farther, especially when they just keep running back this team over and over and over and over. And their defense just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, they traded Gary Trent for Norman Powell, which I don't think was really that good of a trade because Gary Trent was better in my opinion. Uh, had a better potential and he was younger than Norman Norman Powell so it was just not the best thing in my opinion and then they lost the Nuggets this year in the first round that was in the game seven I believe and made it might have been six but I believe it was game seven that they lost to the Nuggets uh, and Damian Lillard just given everything he could to the game right there and you could tell he was trying to win but he just couldn't carry that team so many people think but CJ McCollum is just not the number two guy next to Dame. He was having like an all-star caliber season until he got injured this year. So it could have been his first time making the all-star team in his career and been Damian Lillard's first all-star teammate since LaMarcus Aldridge way back in like 2014, 2015, something like that when he was still on the Blazers. Uh, and there are a couple of options. Like maybe they trade for Kristaps Porzingis, Kemba Walker, which doesn't really fit next to... Um, next to dame but there are a couple players that are on the trading block maybe a russell westbrook if you can get a package together for that which also doesn't really fit next to dame but there are a couple options for players that are kind of on the trading table chris ups Porzingis is probably the most likely but the lakers could also make an offer of really young players like one young player in kyle kuzma but this trade is probably not that likely. But at the same time, you got to remember the Blazers are looking for anything. And if nobody's willing to give them anything for CJ because they think Dame might be available soon, then this is a possibility. And he, here's what I think the package would be. It's probably a Dennis Schroeder. So it's surrounding around Dennis Schroeder on a sign-in trade. And I don't really know if they would be willing to put him at the two guard. He did play some shooting guard with the Oklahoma City Thunder at times. So he could play the shooting guard next to Damian Lillard or you could have Damian Lillard at the shooting guard but I'd rather have him at the point guard and I know a lot of people say that Dennis Schroeder isn't a he's not a legit point guard so then run him at the shooting guard next to Damian Lillard instead of CJ McCollum and then also get back a Kyle Kuzma who's a young guy that uh, would definitely get the ball more and have more opportunities on the Portland Trailblazers uh, rather than the Los Angeles Lakers because he the Lakers are a better team that ha especially like with a team that has LeBron you just can't have players like a Kyle Kuzma that's going to make a ton of mistakes um, that's really young. And I know they have Taylor Horton Tucker who makes a ton of mistakes, but Kyle Kuzma has been doing this for years. Taylor Horton Tucker was basically a rookie this year because last season he played, what, like five, six games, ten games in the whole season. So um, Kyle Kuzma has just done it for too long, and he needs a fresh start as well. And maybe the Blazers are willing to do that. Uh, and then another, or another trade scenario you can have is um if if Montrezl Harrell picks up his player option then you could do a sign and trade with Dennis Schroeder and then Montrezl Harrell and that would also work uh and or a KCP Kyle Kuzma it would it's two of those four guys KCP Kyle Kuzma uh and Dennis Schroeder and Montrezl Harrell those four are like the four that you pick two of them and that's how the trade would probably go. So Montrezl Harrell, Kyle Kuzma, something like that. Uh, and then with that, with if you were to do that one, Kyle Kuzma, Montrezl Harrell, you'd also probably have to throw in someone like Alfonso McKinney just to get a little bit more money to make the contracts work. I don't even think that gets it quite there. So you might have to throw in a KCP as well or someone that makes a little bit less, maybe Alex Caruso. But I think if I'm the Lakers, I'm trying to keep Alex Caruso. And that's because CJ McCollum's not a good defender. He could be that third guy, I think, next to LeBron and AD. I think that he would be that answer for that third dude next to those two. 
but he cannot really play defense that well. He's like, what, six foot, six one, six two at a shooting guard? That's very, very short for a shooting guard, and his defense is just not good, to put it nicely. Um, so if you could have Alex Caruso still, he'd be a good defender to put next to CJ McCollum. So uh, at least you have one good wing defender out there. I don't know if you really consider LeBron a good wing defender. I don't know, whatever you classify him as. Uh, and and Or if you don't keep Caruso, maybe you keep KCP, who's a good wing defender. Not quite as good as Caruso, in my opinion, but he is still a pretty good wing defender. Uh, and then also THT, you're not willing to give him up in this trade. I think you try to keep him as, as if you can. I, I, I don't think you give THT up for uh, CJ McCollum trade just because I think it might be possible to do it without THT. But if you absolutely have to and you feel like this is the last resort, I guess you do it. But I just don't know if it is the last resort. I think you could probably figure something else out. So um, hold on to THT if you can. For the Blazers, I don't know. The Blazers, I think, need to blow it up. If I'm being completely honest, I think the Blazers need to blow it up, go full Sam Presti with the Oklahoma City Thunder, and just get draft picks and draft picks and draft picks. Lakers could give you a first round, a couple second rounders, and that's about as much as they can offer you. And then you could also have kyle kuzma so those are a couple young guys to get it started and then you could definitely cash in on damian lillard to a team like i don't think the oklahoma city thunder would go for damian lillard but a team like the new york knicks or someone like that that has a ton of draft picks and a lot of cap space somebody like that where you can just fully cash in on damian lillard uh that is what you should probably do in my opinion just get draft picks after draft picks after draft draft picks and that's the only way I think you're going to really build back up. No one's going to Portland, especially with this roster they have right now. So I'm saying you definitely got to restart. Just restart because Damian Lillard's getting too old um, for you to try to figure this out for more years because I know you've been trying to get that next star next to him for years now and it just hasn't worked. So at this point, I think you got to say we got to cash in on him before he gets uh, to a point where we can't as much as we can right now, which Damian Lillard, I think, still has a ton of good years in him, but I don't think that the Trailblazers are going to be able to surround him with anything to make him a legit title contender because I don't think they've ever been a title contender. I think they've thought they are, but I don't think they ever have, even when they made it to the conference finals in 2019, uh, just because they they really got like a a good path there. They had to play the Thunder, who have playoff P on the, on their team and Russell Westbrook who also hasn't been too winning of a player throughout his career and Dame was crazy in that series he just was crazy and then when they got to the Warriors they just got smacked but uh I, I would say definitely rebuild time to rebuild trade CJ to the Lakers baby I would like it I think it's a, he's a great third player next to LeBron and AD as defense isn't there but his offense is there and his three-point shooting is there let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because um this is this could be a crazy crazy trade that could shake up the league the brooklyn nets just got um they just lost in the playoffs last night but they look like the best team in the league probably when they're fully healthy so the lakers could trade for cj and make that a discussion again so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'll see you guys later uh, if you guys want to shout out in the next video in front of nearly 4,000 people, probably 4,000 by the time you're seeing this, just leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all, and you guys will get a shout out in the next video. Um, also, you can press the join button down below for exclusive perks. Uh, it's only like three bucks a month, so yeah, do that if you want. See you guys later. Peace out.